Welcome back. So in my first video, I told you about my plan to train a fish. In this video, uh, I'm going to tell you about the methods I intend to use. And just one more time, as a reminder, both to you and to myself, uh, this is just a plan. These are just ideas. Um, I know I've said this a couple of times, but I don't know for sure if it's going to work. Um, I just have to keep reminding myself of that because my expectations for what this fish can learn or what I think this fish will learn are way up here. And I need to keep reminding myself that the reality of what's going to happen with this is probably, you know, way down here. But I want to include you in on the whole process, even if none of it works. So how do you train a fish? Well, the first thing you do is teach the fish to follow a rod. And what you do is you put it in the tank, and every time the fish goes near the rod, you reward it. And I think this is actually how they train dolphins, too. This is a pretty well-established method of training fish. Uh, any of the other people on YouTube that have trained a fish to do anything, this is how they started. And then, when the fish approaches the rod and you reward it, you need to show that it's a completed command. And you do this by using a dog clicker. And yeah, I've seen some people on YouTube, they use lights, or you can just tap on the glass. And all this does is says, good dog. Oh, I mean, good fish. Then, once the fish is following the rod, you can lead it around the tank. And that's when you can start teaching it to go through hoops. You can teach it to ring a bell. You can teach it to play soccer. I definitely won't be the first person on YouTube to ever do this. Lots of people have done this part. But where I want to do it differently is I want to command train fish. I want it to be like a dog. So when you look at your dog and you say, sit, the dog knows exactly what you want it to do. I want my fish to be able to follow commands. So for example, any of the other fish you see trained on YouTube, they see the hoop and it knows, oh, I should go through that hoop. The hoop is the command. But then you get into trouble if you put a hoop and a soccer net in the tank at the same time. The fish won't know which one you want it to do. It's just as likely to go for the hoop as it is for the soccer net, unless you lead it there with your rod. But I don't want to do that all the time. So I have two ideas for how to deliver commands to my fish. The first is visual, the second one uses sound. Now, for the visual method, I know that fish can see outside of the aquarium. There's lots of species that when you look at them, they look back at you. Uh, for example, puffer fish. Puffer fish take a special interest in the outside world. They're really curious about what's on the other side of the glass. So I know for sure that the fish will be able to see these flashcards that I printed. The question will be whether or not it can learn to associate each picture with a trick. So for example, it sees the arrow. If it can know, oh, it's time to do a barrel roll. Or if it sees the star and it knows, oh, I should go swim through the hoop. My idea for how to deliver commands with sound is with a kalimba. So that brings us to a really interesting question. Can fish hear us? Well, yes and no. So I remember when I was a kid, I used to go fishing with my granddad or my uncle. And we'd be on the boat and I'd be talking, talking, talking. And they would say, shh, you're going to scare away the fish. Well, according to Boys Life magazine, fish in the water cannot, in fact, hear us talk. But what they can hear is if we shuffle around on the boat. Or the second we put our foot in the water, they know we're there. Because water carries sound so much better than air, fish tend to have a really acute sense of hearing. In What a Fish Knows, Jonathan Balcom wrote about how some fish are able to distinguish the sound of how a predator fish swims versus the sound of how one of its own kind swims. Because of that, I know for sure that once I attach this to the side of my tank, the sound when I hit the C key will carry through the glass and into the water. I know for sure the fish will be able to hear these sounds. Now, the question will be whether or not he can differentiate them. If he can tell the difference between, you know, for example, a C and a G. If he can tell the difference between the two sounds, then he can learn to associate one trick with C and one trick with G. Before you go, I thought you might like to take a closer look at the tank. So starting from the top, we've got a Sun Polar Light. Uh, it's a brand I've never heard of before, but it is just real solid quality, really good light. And it's got the coolest remote. You know, it's got different effects for it. Um, it's got a lightning effect 
which I don't think I'll ever use, but I still think it's cool. And then it's also got a cloudy weather effect. Kind of rolls through those pretty quick, but still neat. And then you can adjust all the different lights. You can adjust your white lights, make them lower. Oh, whoops, still on cloud mode. You can go to your white lights, adjust your white lights, go to your Actinics, turn those down, turn them up. Just a really great light. And then coming down, uh, take a look under the hood. We've got our sump down here. Just a, a really great little sump. Got my protein skimmer in there. Kind of hard to see. It's a real small protein skimmer because it's a real small tank. And then my heater, uh, my filter bag, or my sock filter, everything down there. Very nice. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. And don't forget to tune in next week for another exciting episode of How to Train Your Fish. And also, please comment in the sections below uh, what species you want to see me train because uh, I'm still thinking about it. I haven't decided yet. Thanks again. I'll talk to you next time.